Hey guys, Jason Samkovic here with Samco Workshop. Today we're going to talk for a quick second about when to use four-wheel drive in your vehicle. I'm going to show you some examples and we're going to run through it here. But basically, um, four-wheel wheel drive in any vehicle, the thing you have to understand, it is a, a use it or lose it type of thing. If you do not use it quite regularly, if you, you know, at least once a month, it is going to stop working on you over time. It is just not going to be there. And that's the number one reason that people bring in their four-wheel drive to be serviced is because they don't ever use it. Then they go to use it and they find out it doesn't work. It has to be used. The more you use it, the better. So take advantage of that. So here we are. We're out here running around the trails. I'm actually getting ready to go hunting here. You can see behind me, I got my, uh, my bow, my pack, it stands in the back end, all my stuff here like that. We're getting ready to head out. And we're hitting these trails here. Now that we're off the main road and we're on these trails, they're soupy, they're muddy. You can see them, they're pretty nasty. Um, and it's a perfect time to turn off all, you know, or to turn on four wheel drive. Uh, I don't have it on right now, but I'm going to turn on and turn off of my uh, traction control. I'm going to come over here to my knob right here and I'm going to put it in four high. We're gonna let that kick in. You can see it blinking right there. Sometimes you gotta pull forward a little bit or something to get it to kick in. Now traction control is off. We are in four wheel drive. What that's gonna do for me is that is going to give me uh, better control, obviously. You can see the mud and the slush and the crap down here. I mean, this is not pretty. This Look at this. I mean, this is some pretty nasty peanut buttery type mud that we're driving through. Now we don't need four wheel drive to get through here especially in a Tacoma, but what it's doing is it's keeping that system operational, okay? It's making everything work and do what it's supposed to do. So using four-wheel drive is not an emergency-only type scenario. It's fantastic for this kind of stuff where you do have wheel slippage because you don't want to use four-wheel drive on, on hard pavement very often. Okay, you want it on slippery surfaces so the wheels can break loose for your spider gears and your gearing and stuff like that. But something like this off road on dirt roads is phenomenal. Like this hole we're coming up to. I, I mean, we got a lot of snow and rain. It just came in. I don't know how deep this hole is, but it's no big deal anyway. I'm in four wheel drive. We're just going to go right through it anyhow. And oh, yeah, it's just not bad. But um, it doesn't matter because we're in four wheel drive anyway. So we can use it and take advantage of it. Uh, but we're also keeping that system from failing. That is the key thing. We are letting that letting that four-wheel drive system eat. Let it get out there and let it do its job and let it work. You can see all the loose sand here that we're going through, um, the mud and ruts again. We don't need four-wheel drive here, but we're going to use it anyway. Anytime we're off-road, we're going to use it. When there's snow-covered roads and it is slippery out and those roads are completely covered with snow and things like that, we are going to use it. Why? So that we do not lose it. Okay, it is one of those, a use it or lose it kind of scenario and being able to keep that active relies on you using it every once in a while on a, on a pretty regular basis to take advantage of that and uh, keep it working for you. So that basically, we're gonna stop right here. Um, and uh, But that's the, the key thing here. Not to use four-wheel drive when you are on hard surfaces. Pavement, dry pavement. There's no reason to be in four-wheel drive on dry pavement. Now, if you never go off-road with your truck, but you are driving on dry pavement, when you are driving in a straight line under 60 miles an hour, so through town or whatever it is, do not be afraid to shift that into four high while you're driving. Okay, most vehicles you can do that right while you're on the fly driving, but turn it to four high, let the four wheel drive kick in, drive four, five, six miles. You don't want to be doing a lot of turns on hard stuff with four wheel drive on again because you need wheel slippage. Um, but in a town or something like that or a straight line, turn it on, leave it, leave it in uh, four high for five minutes or so and then switch it back to two high that is going to preserve your four-wheel drive system. Or do like I do when you're off-road, put it in four-wheel drive so that that system can eat, it can work, it can lube the gears, it can do all this stuff it has to do to keep itself fully functional. That's the key for you right there. So, and same goes for snowy roads. If it's snowy and crappy outside, basically anytime it is a, a <coughs> excuse me, a loose or slippery type surface, 
do not be afraid to be in four-wheel drive. Keep your speeds under 60 miles an hour. I think each vehicle varies, but under 60 miles an hour is a good idea, but you shouldn't be going faster than 60 on a loose surface anyway. So, but you know, under 60 miles an hour on a loose surface, put it in four high. Now four low is a whole different animal. Don't even mess with four low till you know what you're doing. You know how to get in and out of it and you know the situations it calls for it. Uh, you know, just before you're about to enter into a nasty hole or, or some sketchy obstacle you got to deal with, that's where four low comes in. But four high to two high all the time. Okay, no big deal. When its surfaces are loose or slippery, don't be afraid to put it in four high. It's a good thing to do. Thanks for watching.